Alright guys, how's it going? So I was recently contacted by a user on YouTube and he basically asked, is it possible to get a review of the standalone client for managing official builds or Blender? Cheers. Of course you can mate, no problem. Now, I've actually reviewed this a few months back, but it's been rewritten from the ground up and it's now getting called the Blender Launcher and it's a pretty damn cool application. It's available on GitHub for free, you're more than welcome to check it out, links in the description down below. And it's a very simple program. Now it's essentially an exe file, so it works on Windows and I believe it works on Linux. I'm not entirely sure about Mac, I don't think Mac is supported at the moment. But what it essentially does is it is a Blender launcher, it lets you download the latest Blender files and it manages your Blender downloads. Great little tool, a lot of users ask me all the time, how do you manage your downloads? Well, Blender launcher is pretty much it. So when you first put up the application, you're actually asked where would you like to store these Blender downloads. So I've created a folder on the desktop, nice and organised as usual, <laughs> and I've called it the Blender Launcher. And you can see here when I go to downloads, it'll give me stable releases, it'll give me daily builds, and it'll give me experimental branches. And this is great. It means I don't need to go to GitHub or I don't need to go to the official Blender page. I can just grab it from here. So I'm going to download the latest stable build. You can see here it's the 21st of October, it even gives you the date. Once it's downloaded, it will automatically extract it and it'll put it in the folder for you. And you're pretty much ready to rock and roll, so I'll just skip the download just to save some time here. So you can see here, once it's automatically extracted the download, if I jump into the Blender launcher, I'll have two different folders, I'll have stable and I'll have daily at the moment. It'll give me the build number and it'll pretty much give me Blender. Now one thing that I wanted to pick up on, if I go to the library, you can see here my build, I can actually right click on this and I can mark this as a favourite. Now we can register extensions, we can create a shortcut, create a sign link, I'm not entirely sure what that is, and we can show the folder. So I'm actually going to mark this as a favourite. So when I go down to the taskbar, I can actually right click here and I can click on Blender and it'll load up my favourite Blender version. Excellent. And that's pretty much the Blender launcher. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, I don't know why this is taking long to load. <laughs> Take care.